The rise of COVID-19, what's behind the recent surge and how to stay protected. Feeling run down. It could be COVID-19 again. Have you been feeling unusually run down, battling muscle soreness, and dealing with congestion? Before you chalk it up to a common cold or seasonal allergies, you might want to consider the possibility of COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has reported an increase in COVID-19 cases across 39 states, including Florida, with test positivity rates rising and more hospital visits for COVID-19. Understanding the current landscape of the pandemic is crucial. This article delves into the recent UPTICK in cases, the reasons behind it, and how you can protect yourself. A summer surge, what the data tells us. A rise in positivity rates. The CDC reports that national test positivity rates for COVID-19 have increased from 5% to nearly 7% in just a week. This rise is mirrored by increased hospital emergency room visits for COVID-19 infections. The Florida Department of Health has also noted a significant increase in cases statewide. Local impact in Southwest Florida. In Southwest Florida, both Lee Health and NCH Healthcare Systems have observed more COVID-19 patients. Dr. Jan Gonsenhauser, Chief Medical Officer of Lee Health, mentioned a noticeable UPTICK in COVID-positive patients seeking care. Similarly, Christopher Raphael, Administrative Director of Critical Care at NCH, reported a jump in COVID infections, with laboratory confirmations increasing from 28% in April to 36% in May. Statewide Trends Florida's statewide infections for the week of June 14 stood at 8,927 cases, up from 6,568 cases for the same week in 2023. This rise is also evident in local data, with Lee County reporting 392 cases and Collier County 210, doubling last year's figures for the same period. Unpacking the factors behind the increase. The role of travel and indoor activities. Dr. Gonsenhauser highlights that COVID-19 historically shows a summer spike, potentially due to increased travel and people spending more time indoors to escape the heat. These factors contribute to a higher likelihood of virus transmission. Declining booster rates. Another critical factor is the decline in vaccine booster rates. Many individuals have not kept up with the latest booster shots, making them more susceptible to new strains of the virus. Raphael points out that the reduced immunity from not receiving booster shots could be contributing to the increase in cases. Emergence of new variants. New variants of the virus, such as KP.3, KP.2, and LB.1, are also playing a role in the rising infection rates. These strains are more easily spread than previous dominant strains, leading to higher transmission rates. The latest on vaccination and immunity. Vaccination rates lagging. The CDC reports that as of mid-May, only 23% of adults nationwide have received a vaccination update since September. This number is slightly better among older adults, with nearly 42% of those over 75 keeping up with their shots. However, only 14% of children aged 6 months to 17 are up to date on their COVID vaccines. The importance of staying up to date. Receiving the latest vaccine updates is crucial, especially as the virus continues to mutate. The CDC recommends everyone aged 6 months and older to get an updated vaccine for the 2024-2025 season regardless of their previous vaccination status. Updated vaccines can restore and enhance protection against the current variants responsible for most infections and hospitalizations in the US. Symptoms and what to look out for. Common symptoms. COVID-19 symptoms can vary widely but often include fever, chills, cough, sore throat, congestion, headache, muscle ache, fatigue, and difficulty breathing. Some may experience a loss of taste or smell, brain fog, and stomach upset. When to seek medical attention. If you experience severe symptoms such as difficulty breathing, persistent chest pain, new confusion, inability to stay awake, or bluish lips or face, it's essential to seek medical attention immediately. Staying safe, 
Tips for protection. Following CDC guidelines. To stay protected, follow CDC guidelines, which includes staying up to date with vaccinations, wearing masks in crowded indoor settings, practicing good hand hygiene, and maintaining physical distance when possible. Monitoring local health advisories. Keep an eye on local health advisories and updates from the Florida Department of Health and your healthcare providers. These updates can provide valuable information on current infection rates and recommended precautions in your area. Boosting your immune system. In addition to vaccination, focus on boosting your immune system through a healthy diet, regular exercise, adequate sleep, and managing stress. These lifestyle factors can help improve your overall health and resilience against infections. Staying vigilant in a changing pandemic landscape. As we navigate the ongoing changes in the COVID-19 pandemic, staying informed and proactive is key to protecting yourself and your loved ones. The recent rise in cases serves as a reminder that the virus is still present and evolving. By keeping up with vaccinations, following health guidelines, and staying aware of new developments, we can better manage and reduce the impact of COVID-19. Thank you for reading. If you found this article helpful, please share it with others, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Together, we can spread awareness and knowledge to help combat COVID-19 and prepare for future health challenges.